I'll do anything for you Cause you're a female Doesn't matter about me I'll be a loser and die for you No, I'm just joking Hear the simp music? Simp music on the radio <laughs> Alright, so Yeah, I'm not bitter or jaded or anything So one of the reasons as a MGTOW why we have to isolate ourselves, not just from women, but from society in general, is because people don't like to hear the truth. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but in my house, people aren't censored. Oops, sorry. In my house, people aren't censored. They can talk about whatever, pretty much whatever they want, unless they're, like I said, unless somebody's a complete moron, and even still, I might put up with you that one time, and then when you leave, just never have you back over again, because it's not like you're doing anything wrong. You're just an idiot or something. But I'm just saying, generally, I'm, you're, as long, you know, I'm not afraid of the truth. If you tell me a truth and it hurts me, well, I better change the truth then about myself or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm a big man. I got my big man pants on. So, so my point being is people do not like to hear the truth. And I don't know about you, but I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you people. <laughs> I can't stop taking off it without... I keep forgetting the phone's going to fly off the... My phone's going to fly off the dashboard. So, my point being is, uh, I don't know about you, but I've been threatened with police if I don't, if, or to be removed by police at people who supposedly love me. I love you. Oh, I love you. You're our son. You're our nephew. You're my best friend. I'm so glad that we, that I, you know, you're one... You're one of the best friends I have. On and on and on. You hear the same thing until you start talking about fathers not having any rights and the children being damaged from it. Well, now now all of a sudden it's, look, my girlfriend doesn't want to hear about that right now. Or, you know, I, I don't want to talk about that stuff. You're being negative. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now the same people that I give liberty to talk about whatever they want, they're ready to call the police. Uh, some issues here. All right, sorry about that. This is a crazy video. The phone's flying off the dash. The dogs, you know, doggy drama. But my point being is now the same person who is, oh, you're my best friend. Oh, you're my son. I love you. On and on. Now it's if you don't stop talking about that, I'm going to call the police on you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, and, and so now I pretty much, I refuse to go over anybody else's house. And if anybody wants to talk to me, they have to come to my house because, and that's why I'm basically, I made a video called quarantining myself from the world because people are too stupid. They can't handle the truth. Uh, Americans are too dumb. They're too cowardly. Americans are too cowardly. And they can't handle the truth, so they they take they kill the messenger, and they want to have the police come and beat you up. And they're not too afraid to see you get your head cracked open in front of them by the police, right? They're not too afraid for that. No, they're afraid of the police at the end of the day, because the truth equals action, and the action and action now means you got to like go to your school and tell them, hey, stop teaching my twelve-year-old daughter how to give BJs and then they, and then the police come in and yank you out in front of everybody. And if you resist, the police will kill you. The police will kill you. The police will kill you if you try to do the right thing. So I stay home in my apartment. And if anybody wants to talk to me, they got to come to my house. So if they don't like what I'm saying, they have to leave or I'll call the police and the police will kill you in front of me. That's why I stay home and I don't talk to anybody. Miss, MGTOW Misfit over and out.